The VA's office also says if veterans ever have a question about what their benefits are, they can go to va.gov to find resources and support for navigating that process. Meanwhile, the commanding officer for one of the Navy's newest submarines, the USS Iowa, was at the parade this afternoon. We spoke with him to see how our state's namesake is doing. And she'll go out she can do any number of missions from uh, anti-submarine warfare, uh, strike warfare, anti-surface warfare. She can do uh, uh, recover intelligence or surveillance reconnaissance. Uh, she's, uh, you know, as, far as, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the best ship in the Navy. So. And with it being Veterans Day at the fair, there's one Central Iowa nonprofit that's been out there every day helping veterans. Local 5's Dana Searles is live out at the State Fair to tell us more about the work 5.OP is doing. Dana. Mary, 5.OP is a nonprofit that was founded by a nine-year veteran, and he has goals to put up veterans into other housing. Now, in addition to that main goal, they also want to provide mental counseling, personal counseling, and financial counseling. Counseling. Now, they are putting veterans up in fourplex houses and training them to live in one unit and then lease out the other three units so that they are financially stable. And the founder says that today is a special day at the fair for him. And to see all these people come here today to honor veterans is a huge uh, heart-filling moment for me. But as well, they're coming in, because I'm a veteran, they'll share their stories about what they did and maybe some things that a lot of civilians just don't understand. And now tonight at 10, I'll have the full mission of this nonprofit and how it all got started. Live at the State Fairgrounds, Dana Searles, Local 5 News. All right, Dana, thank you.